Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Super Mega Biome Minecraft server. I'm over here at Mount Mooshmore, taking out the view, checking out the view, taking it all in, if you will. It's starting to look really good now that the snow's coming in on it. So, like, the little white dots weren't going to stand out so much from a distance, but now with this snow on it, it really does kind of look like the red mushroom with white snow on it. And it looks like it's snowing all the way over here, too. Out over in the actual... This definitely hangs over onto the mushroom biome, right? Mushroom block. What? Where is my biome layer? Huh. Wait a minute. Why am I not seeing that? Am I not looking in the right place? Extreme Hills. Oh, I guess it's not. Well, Extreme Hills still snows. <laughs> so there you go. Wow, I could have swore that that was going to be... Maybe up past a certain point it stopped being biome. No, it's Mushroom Island over here. So it's not snowing over here. Oh, that's a bummer. But that's okay, because a lot of it is snowing. So we get a lot of snow cover on this mushroom, and it's starting to look pretty good. But that's not what we're going to work on today. No, no, no. And the mushroom... Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me take a quick peek. Uh, yeah, I'll go for it over here. And uh, the mushroom's done. Somebody suggested turning uh, uh, something this into the Sphinx. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it kind of has that look to it. Uh, I think it looks like a uh, Pokemon, of which I can't remember the name of again. <laughs> but who knows? Uh, there's some more forested area out beyond that a little bit, and then it kind of develops a little bit that way. And then goes back around and comes back and comes this way. And it's fun. It's, it's a nice little area, but there's nothing too much to it other than that. What was I coming over here to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to jump into the water if I was able to get down into it. So let's take another look. Now, it's probably been too long. It's probably all froze over. Going for it. I'm going for it. Don't turn ice. Okay, it didn't turn ice. But it has happened to me on the way down. I have seen one of these turn to ice. I made it, but I remember, like, looking at it. And, oh, jeez. Oh, I do not want to deal with that. I do not want to deal with that, but at least now we know he's in there, right? All right, so before we go deal with the creeper, I will finish the story. I was jumping down. I saw the block I just happened to be looking at where I thought it was landing turned to ice. <laughs> and in that split moment, oh, but uh, I got out of the way. I, I scooted over a little bit and was able to get it done. All right, so let's go in here and take care of this creeper, and I'll show you what we're working on today. Oh, boy, here we go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd our creeper go? I wonder if he crept all the way over here and went into the other one. Well, I don't see him. Well, we all know that creeper's going to be back. It's just a matter of time. All right, so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to kind of put up some... I don't have the iron with me, but I'm thinking about putting up some iron fencing around here and actually giving this a legitimate look like it's supposed to uh, funnel off into this direction, right? And then do that. And I also wanted to give this portal a little bling, you know, to make it a little bit something more. So maybe we'll just turn this whole hallway into a door, right? And also I wanted to continue working on the nether in here. So let's go back in here real fast and take a look at that. All right, so today, oh, mushroom cow. Uh, rip. All right, is he over here? No, he's not over here either. Man, I am concerned about where that creeper might be. We'll figure it out. All right, so today's plan is to backfill in parts of this down here and get some lava and uh, put some lava flow in so it looks cool. <laughs> then we'll surround it with a, some obsidian and put it, we'll put a glass cover over it. And uh, again, I do think I need to dig down probably one more there. And then over here, I'm going to lay out some mycelium and some grass and see if I can get a couple mushrooms to grow. Not mushrooms, but mushrooms. <laughs> it's a couple of small ones. Maybe a small red one. The red ones seem to grow better and the brown ones seem to do uh, better at night. The red ones in general seem to grow more often for me. The brown ones seem to grow better at night for me. So that's what we're working on today. I'm going to go get some of the materials and get this thing going. We're going to go back and forth into this portal quite often to make sure we get enough uh, obsidian because we're going to need a lot of it. All right, I'll be right back. My friends, I'm over here near where our witch farm is to uh, get some books from these guys. I was looking for an efficiency book. 
And while I was over here, I noticed for the first time, I may have noticed this before, but I don't think I have, that this particular librarian, you can either get looting three for 14 emeralds, which is a pretty good deal. And I was sitting here thinking about it. And I was like, hmm, 14, that's, that's not bad. I wonder what else he has, you know? Well, he's got uh, blast protection three. Hmm, don't really need that. Maybe later, maybe later. Oh, what's he got here for 25 emeralds? Looting too? What? So, the same villager has looting two for 25. And for 14, looting three. Oh my gosh. It's silly stuff. Well, I am over here looking for efficiency because... Oh, I'm breaking. Wait, is that what I have? I have the unbreaking two stuff. I need the efficiency book. Because my pick is almost dead. And when I went to use this one to mend it up, it said it was going to require something like 23 levels. So I just decided to go find a book instead and actually picked something up along the way. So now I can't even do that with that. But we're going to get some efficiency on these guys. Did I check all three of these? I don't think I did. Lore. Blast protection. Again, I'm going to need it eventually. And we're going to get <laughs> we're going to put efficiency onto these. And I think I'm going to do a time lapse because I'm going to do a, a dig out of the the mine section, the obsidian mine section. And it's kind of, I like seeing that kind of deconstruction uh, happen in time lapse form. So I'm sure other people might as well. So that's why I'm going to do it. So as soon as I get this efficiency, there it is. For 16, exactly right. I'm going to get my pickaxe all ready to go and we're going to go film that. So here we go. Welcome back my friends. As you can see, I've dug out a lot of that wall after I finished up that little part of the time lapse. I just kind of went around there and got that scooped up. This thing had a lot more than I thought it was going to. When I got to right here, I just kind of had this one little area of space that kind of popped open. So I went up to check it out and 
came around here and lit this thing up and kind of poked my head down and saw all of this down below. So I was able to say, okay, well, let's go over here and see what else we got and kept digging it out and kept digging it out as you saw. So there's a whole bunch of little pools all over the place here. And then back here, I also put a wall there. No, wait, I think I already told you that. Let's see here. There's uh, some more things back here, if I remember correctly. I blocked that off, and there's lava here. Whoa, almost fell in. And there's some water here. So I'm thinking that eventually I'm going to come back around and connect up with that one over there. All right, let me get this while I'm thinking about it. So I'm, I think so anyways, it should work out all right. Is there enough light there? Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so this guy is kind of out in the middle of it. A little difficult to punch off. One more? No, all right, well, I'm hoping that this lava flow comes back around over there. So let's go take a look real fast and see if, oh, so dangerous. See if, uh, <laughs> if that's uh, the case, you know? But that's what I've got here. This looks pretty good, and I'm thinking what I'm going to end up doing is... Should I do decoratives? Should I give it, like, this look around the edge of it? Right? And then come back later and do all the water and kind of turn it all into obsidian? Or should I leave it like this for a while? I definitely need some obsidian. You know, there's projects that need to be done. So let me go ahead and kind of at least see what this looks like you know oh wouldn't let me cover that up right away there we go all right so like that like this and yeah i definitely think that if i keep digging back that way i'm gonna find more lava connecting up over there let me just keep this up here see how pretty it looks <laughs> okay now let's go back around and look I think, eh, I think all right. I think all right. Yeah, because it kind of, yeah. And let's uh, go ahead and throw down some water here. Let's see how many we get there. So it kind of has the both looks going on. Hmm, we'll see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start mining out some more of this obsidian. I also need to go get some more torches because I'm going to start running out of light as soon as these things start going like that. And uh, we'll get back and come back over here once I've got that obsidian and do something with this portal. So I think that's going to be the next little cut. Be right back. Welcome back, my friends. We're over here at the deep end of our obsidian mine tunnel, and I've pulled out all the blocks I needed to get part of the project done up there. And while I was working on this, it occurred to me that there's probably going to be some blocks that are right up against the obsidian that still have lava under them. So we're still going to be digging back some little bits from time to time, right? So it probably behooves us to not put the uh, accoutrements everywhere. Well, yeah. Not everywhere, <laughs> because we're going to need to dig back, you know? And while we're digging back, we might as well leave them off. But I do like them, so I'm probably going to have it stretch around to the places. As long as I keep digging obsidian out from there, uh, I think I'm going to leave it like this over here, just to kind of give it a little look. I put a couple extra bits of lava in here after I took out the obsidian, just so it kind of looks like... Things are always forming and always being dug out. And yes, there's a second layer down here also. Most of this is all just like um, uh, granite and whatever else is down there. So I haven't dug out any more of that. But I did come over here and I did uh, do something with this portal. Uh, I threw up some more obsidian around it. I've got this kind of 5x5 uh, five five indented thing going on here. I think I might like to bring this out, these two out, and this one out another one. Right? But I'm saving this brick for something on the other side. So that's what this looks like. Also, back behind there, you can't see it right now. It's just cobblestone. But I was thinking about replacing the back wall behind it. Uh, behind this teleport. Boop, boop, boop. That stuff with, uh, like, bone or something, perhaps. See, I like this look because if you put the portal behind it, it looks... It gives it some depth. Here, you can kind of see right where the line is. But here, it kind of... I don't know, it kind of has, has an appeal to it, you know? All right, so here on the other side... Well, before I do that, let me grab some things. I'm going to need some things on the other side. Let me get uh, let me get this and this and 
Uh, we'll use this for now. Is that silk touch? No, it's not. All right, we'll use this for now. Uh, put that up, and let's bring down some lava, right? Okay, back in through to the other side to show you some things I was talking about before. I don't know what I'm going to do with that piece of stone. <laughs> I know it's there, you know it's there, and just like that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Netherrack that was there. All right, so we talked already before about me putting down some things to show you what this looks like. And these bits of obsidian are things that I put down because I know this is going to work. So I'm going to put a bucket of lava there. And I'm going to put a, a bucket of lava here. And as you can see, it will flow in the nether. It flows like water. So it goes down as quickly as it would if it were water. And it comes up as quickly as it would if it were water. Only got two of those? Oh boy. Alright, um... Well, I wanted to see what the red would look like on top of them. So let's see what the red looks like on top of them. Can I get over here? Oh, I cannot. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't want to fall into the lava here because I don't have any... I can't put down water and put it out. I would just have to jump out of the fire and hope that I don't burn myself. To goodness gracious. This... Alright. Let's put one here. And let's put that yellow one here. And let's put that other red one here. So the idea is that this is going to be filled up with glass of some sort. Plain, plain panes for now, right? Uh, like this. And there'll be a path that leads off in this direction, right? So you'll be able to get on top of it and look down on it. So look down on it. Come on and look down on it if you really want to. Bonus points for those of you who know what that was all about. <laughs> but I think it's going to look pretty good once it's all said and done. Right? So what I need to do is go dig up some sand and get some red. And Do I want red or do I want yellow? I'll do a whole bunch of each. And then we'll come back and we'll see what this floor layer looks like once it's all done. So this will be the floor layer. And then this layer is on top of the floor. Right? Well, this is the layer we're going to be walking on. Then I have to do something with this guy. I still want to kind of knock him down a little bit and put a couple mushrooms on the side and grow those up. So that's the plan, but I think that's the plan for next time because, my friends, I have got to go to bed. I have got a long day ahead of me tomorrow, so I apologize, but that's where we are today. We got the projects kind of where we wanted to go. We dug up a lot of obsidian. That's that's very time-inducive. I intensive excuse me i hope you don't mind and understand why i'm cutting it short but if you've enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of these builds as they're ongoing then by all means please do consider subscribing for more content just like this coming real soon until next time however thank you very much for watching and i will see you again real soon bye bye